Hi Libra, welcome back. We are doing a one card, three cards, three predictions, three months, okay? So as you guys know in tarot, it may or may not resonate, so take it as applied. First card for Libra for January 2024. Libra, January 2024, one card for Libra. January 2024, I don't know if that flipped over or not. Anyway, here's the two of swords, okay, for January Libra. February 2024, one card. We have the strength card coming out with the High Priestess. I will read those together. January, February, March 2000, 2024. March for Libra, 2024, one card. March for Libra. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. Right off the bat, I'm getting a child wants to be happy there or something. Or maybe the child has a birthday in March, okay? So we have the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the next three months. So um, you're going to be very happy, Libra, for the next three months. We're just in really pleased, content energy. I also see a kid's father here. All right, we have the Emperor right behind that Ten of Cups. That could be what's making you happy. Well, then this guy most likely is going to come back in January, okay? And he is the kid's father is what I'm picking up already. So this guy is going to be making you very happy the next three months. I don't know. It looks like you guys are getting back together. So there could have been a split, a break, or a separation. I do see you guys getting back together with the Ten of Cups. It looks like this person's ready. They could be mature already here with the Emperor energy. They also could be an Aries. They also could be a Pisces. They also could be a Gemini as well. Looks like a lot happened in the past with the Ten of Swords and the Tower. So right now I'm looking at your main deck. With the Ten of Swords and the Tower pretty close to the deck, I can go ahead and tap into that. So pretty much it's showing that there was some kind of ultimate betrayal in the past. It was unexpected. You didn't see it coming. Maybe someone stepped out of side of a marriage or cheated or something very off that wasn't supposed to happen happen okay someone also could have had their house burned down or um it could have been a fire it could have been some kind of natural disaster or something like that um hmm someone could have died in a house fire or um some kind of natural disaster someone could have died that way i'm so sorry okay but that is showing up um with these two cards here together all right yeah with this yeah someone could have died suddenly guys all right um back to what i was saying um take it as a pause this may or may not resonate but i do see a kid's father coming back in for january february march um it might be different for all of you guys okay libra but someone's father wants to come back around. They're older now. They're more mature. They're also established. Okay, they could be a supervisor, manager, owner, business owner, CEO. They could be, um, have worked a long time, um, well established on the job. They could also have um, their own place or something like that. It's going on, I'm feeling. They just want to come back and make things right with you. They also want to be in your child's life. Okay, the kid that you guys have together. Okay, so you're going to be happy, like I said, at Libra the next three months. In January, let's go, guys. Um, January, you're going to be making a decision. and You might be straddled for um, January. They're saying the first week of January might be straddled. May not be able to make a decision first week of January 2024. I am filming this on the 5th of January. So, I'm sorry if this gets out late. I am loading 10 videos a day here. So, um... After this, I'm a little more videos, but um, some decision is not going to be made the first week of January, okay? There's uh, energy here of making a decision. Could be an air energy, doesn't have to be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but you're going to be making a decision or there's an energy of you needing to make a decision. I feel like you're delaying it. You're not really looking into it. Um, I feel like you don't see everything that you need yet, and that's why you're not making a decision. A lot of you guys want to make sure um everything is there before you make a decision here okay something about the crescent moon could be the time when you do make a decision okay when the moon is getting um smaller could be making a decision when that happens also you guys could be straddling in january um 
hopping over the fence one minute. You feel like that's your decision next. You're like, oh, no, no, no. And you take it back. Someone could be very undecided, um, undecisive. They're just not... They need more information is what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling, okay? So Libras, you're gonna need more information or something and so that you can make a really clear decision. With the blindfold there, it's letting me know you need, probably gonna need more information to make this choice. All right, so next we're going into uh, February, 2024. We got the High Priestess coming out with the strength card so that is pisces and leo's energy for strength card sometimes virgo they said um i thought so sometimes it might resonate um so we got pisces and leo here the strongest energies so you could already know about something um you could already know that you need to make a decision already in january could have been needing to make a decision in 2023 as well um you know a couple months ago in 2023 maybe you're still lingering because something you know that you're keeping quiet about right now i feel like you're keeping your mouth shut right now um libra so in february you could be keeping your mouth shut it could be hard for you to keep your mouth shut i do feel that you want to tell somebody a secret or let someone know something but you feel like it's not the best choice but it's hard for you to keep it quiet okay because the high priestess is secrecy she also is very quiet She's hiding something. It's also a crescent moon here showing up again. Your decision will be coming out around, you will be making a, a good decision around a crescent moon when the moon is getting smaller, okay? You will be making a decision about something, okay? Whatever this decision is, it's gonna make you happy. It's gonna make you happy with the Ten of Cups being your overall energy for the next three months. Hmm. You're quiet right now, Libra, in February. You're not going to be talking much. You're going to be quiet. Um, maybe you got some ancient knowledge or wisdom that you're hiding or keeping a secret right now. It's hard for you to hide it, though. It's like you with the strength card there, you're kind of fighting it a little bit because you do want to tell it or say something. Okay. Hmm. That's all I'm getting. You're just hiding something in February. Like you found out something and you're hiding something. That could be why you're not making a decision yet. So going into um, March 2024, we do have the Page of Pentacles, which is like childlike energy. It could be a young person, doesn't have to be. It can be someone older that has like youthful energy that's just fun, playful, um, laughing all the time, having fun. But this is energy mostly of a child or a teenager here. So with the Page of Pentacles, it could be an Earth child. Can be, doesn't have to be. But it could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, anyway, this per young person is practical. They're starting something new. Could be starting their first job or um, doing something new with money. Could be saving or, you know, up for a car or something like that. Someone's child or teenager. Someone's teenager is doing that right now. They could be saving for a car or they could also be getting a job, their first job, okay? Um, and I also see the father returning or, or coming back into the child's life or children's life. And I do see two kids here. So some of you guys with the baby's dad, you have one child. Others of you moms, you have two children by this guy. He's returning, he's coming back. But he's coming back after a brutal end of something or a separation or something that ended very abruptly, okay? And um, he wants to have a happy family with you. He sees the Ten of Cups with you. So I don't know if he went off, or, um, you know, thought the grass was greener somewhere else or something. Whatever it is, this emperor got a, a rude awakening some kind of way with the Ten of Swords right behind him. Someone betrayed him or stabbed him in the back. Could have been someone else if he did have a third party. Take it as a plot. This may or may not resonate. But he knows his happiness is with you. These are also tens around your emperor, okay, that's coming back. So he's done, okay. He figured it out, whatever he had to figure out or whatever he had to get rid of out of his life so that he could return back to you and be stable and happy. He sees you as his happiness here, okay. He sees you as the ten of cups. And I do feel with the picture here, he does want a happy life, happy family with you. Now, if this guy doesn't have kids with you, 
you know, you're childless. He does want children with you, okay? So it's someone from your past returning. This guy is older than you. So that's three scenarios here. Someone with one kid and another lady with two kids, okay? The father's returning to you if you got kids by him. That's the message here in March 2024. And also, if you are single, you guys are meeting an older man. He might have kids though, okay? Um, he might have two to three kids. He's also been divorced maybe two times. Okay, they're saying two. So the, your guy's been divorced two times this coming in. But he's nice, okay? He's well-rounded. He's grounded. He's very established. Okay, he's got his own place and, and car. He's working. Um, like I said, he's he's got a um, status in the company. He could be over people, um, you know, authoritative, telling people what to do. He also could be hiring and firing. Um, he's just well established what they're saying. He's well rounded. He's also mature. You some of you guys are meeting an older man. Um, he also may be salt and pepper. He may not just be all gray, okay? They're also saying that and he looks good, okay? He's cute or handsome. He it's like for his age is it, it doesn't matter. He's still a very sweet guy, loving, caring guy. He just comes with um maybe two divorces and a few children. Okay, and he's going to tell you about that. Um, so I don't know, maybe at first you may not be too open up to him with the Two of Swords and the uh, Pisces energy here. You might be uh, weary of him, may not trust him because it's like, you know, you don't know if you could trust him or not. It looks like it's okay to me right now. It looks okay. It looks like he's trustworthy. Yeah, you guys might have trust issues when this person comes in, okay? Maybe even the baby's dad, for you guys that, you know, this is your baby's dad, may not can trust him no more. You might feel like you can't trust him. With the Page of Pentacles here, because that is a trustworthy card as well. Um, it can talk about trust issues or if someone is practical, if they're reliable, can you trust them? So th that could be what's going on too. So some of you guys, you might have a secret um, in the next three months that you, you're you holding back from telling someone because you don't know if they're trustworthy enough to know the secret. Others of you guys, the baby father's coming back in the next three months and he sees all, end all with you, okay? Some of you guys could be getting married. Some of you guys could be getting into a serious long-term commitment with this person because this person, um, he learned a lot of lessons in his life and he knows about life. He knows the ropes and he's ready to just settle down, okay? He also um, had a few bad marriages. Some of them, he divor he's divorced twice, okay? And he's going to talk to you about that. Um, but he also got kids, too. If you are single and you're, you don't have no children, he's going to talk about um, that he has children. And then um, he also may want children with you, okay? Because I do see um, there's children here in this uh, Ten of Cups card. And there's a child there. So that's what I'm saying. So take it as applied. This may or may not resonate. It's different scenarios here. Okay. But there is someone holding a secret here in the next three months. And they don't know whether or not they should tell it. Because they don't know if they could trust the person that wants to know the secret. Or, you know, they don't know if they could trust them. And it's, it's taking them a lot to keep it quiet. So the secret must be very big. Okay. Is what I'm saying to you guys. Okay, Libra, that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, take care.